the generations of women who fought for more <laughs> coming up in my bloodstream. He's looking at us. Good morning. This is a fun little like weekly hybrid vlog, I suppose. Be hot. <laughs> I'm gonna just shut that. <laughs> Sorry, because it is Wednesday right now, and I'm obviously headed into work as I do on Wednesdays. <laughs> Not being able to get my smoothie cup off. But I thought it'd be fun to do like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at work, and then my mom is coming into town Friday afternoon. So then we also found weekend plans. So I was like, I should do like a little bit of work, a little bit of play, and put it all into one vlog. And so that's what this is. Welcome. I This is not... I tied, I, I screwed this on, so I should be able to get this off, but I am worried that I just have to wait for Zach to come back from his workout. Oh, oh, I believed in myself the whole time. The most recent video that we will be coming off of was the little like, when social workers have a bad day one. I have not edited that one yet, so I don't know how it's actually going to turn out, but look, hello, I'm cured, I'm healed. A bad day does not mean a bad life, does not mean a bad job. You always gotta check your reusable straws. Make sure there's nothing gunky sitting in there that you don't wanna consume. Hello, my name is Anna. I am a medical social worker working in a children's hospital. If you are curious about the details of that, I have lots and lots of videos on this channel throughout this whole job and what I do at this job. I also have details on my previous job whenever I was working at mental health in jail for kids. And I also have videos from my MSW program and I also have informational videos regarding social work. I feel like I've been referring people to this channel lately because, okay, this is something else that I talked about in that last vlog but is ongoing. I had a TikTok that has now reached a million views that I posted Sunday night, I think. <laughs> if you're here from that, welcome. No, the TikTok itself was pay transparency, which is like every job and how much it's paid me. And I went through every job that I've had since I was 16. And I think honestly why it got so many views is because the comment section, like so many people were commenting because get people talking about money and <laughs> they will talk. But then also in the comment section, I started like plugging myself because people were like, what is it that you do? What's your job? How do you get that job? And I was like, you know what? There's a YouTube channel with over, probably over 200 videos. I'm making that up. I don't know if there's over 200 videos. Probably over 200 videos that I'll tell you all of that. So, hello. You guys are always my primaries, my favorite people. Yeah, the comments in there, crazy though, because I did like every job I've ever had. So starting when I was 16 years old. So I did like the job I had from 16 to 18, an internship I had the summer between high school and college, the job I had for three years. Well, it was like two and a half years, two years, I don't know, I might be overselling myself. The job I had for two years in college, the job I had for like one semester concurrently with the other job in college, the job that I had over the summer between undergrad and grad school, the job I had in grad school, the job I had when I graduated grad school, and then this new one that I started in May. My favorite were the men that were like, it is such a red flag, the way she's bouncing from employer to employer. <laughs> I was like, sir, I'm 16, like, <laughs> You want me staying at my 16 grocery store job whenever I move nine and a half hours away to college and then move three more hours away to grad school? Those are some favorites. Oh my gosh. Zach, you're back. I was vlogging and as soon as I was like, I'm gonna have to wait for Zach to come back, then I got it. I'm a big strong girl. It was the generations of women who fought for more. <laughs> coming up in my bloodstream. And they were like, she can do it. And then we were like, wow. <laughs> and that's what they were like. Well, and then I was just talking about the comments on my TikTok and I was saying how a favorite was about me being a red flag for bouncing from employer to employer as a 16 year old baby girl. Baby girl. Baby girl. Um, what else? The ones that are like, this is why women don't get paid much. They're not willing to operate heavy machinery. <laughs> She's not forklift certified. <laughs> As I'm like in the pictures in my little juice bar apron, juicing spinach. Silly goofy. What else were good ones? I feel like now that I'm on the spot, I can't remember any. I guess just ones too that were like, well, it's your fault if you take any job under $14. To which I feel the jobs that you can get hired for pay more than ones that you don't have. <laughs> that you don't have. And Put lots of states. Out. Lots of states do not have their own minimum wages and have to go by the federal minimum wage, which is $7.25 in this economy. Someone did comment it though, is. someone did comment Zach that the desk assistant job that I had at Bama, which YouTube channel is very familiar with. For sure. Very familiar with. 
They raised the pay up to ten dollars an hour now. No way. I think I might have been like one of the last semesters that it was still the minimum wage, which was nuts. But also, I didn't do anything. So. Well, congrats to them. Congrats to them. I also got comments that were like, "I think you made me my smoothie at Juice Bar." <laughs> <laughs> I probably did. <laughs> I probably did do that. Okay. See you guys later. Or not. See you guys later. You know what has no season? My Halloween Town sweatshirt. And I will continue to wear it. <laughs> Today at work, there's not too much out of the ordinary, but we do have an ethics CEU that happens at 12 today. And one of the people who shares my office, one of our child eye specialists, is actually on the panel for it. So I'm gonna go in person, which I believe means I'll be getting lunch. So I'm taking my lunch out of my bag. And if I get hungry later, it is all on me. And then I've decided to pack in my bag, fourth wing. It came at the library. It was one of the holds I picked up recently. Honestly, that's going to be like the only thing in my bag because I'm not reading. I started reading Brit Maria's here and it's not bad. It's just like a slower paced book. And I feel like since I have fourth wing, I need to read fourth wing. Put my bookmark in there so that I have it. Okay. Okay. Let me turn off the light. I hope I get to have a nice chill day at work today. It can always go one of so many different ways. Something that has been happening recently that kind of affects my day is that Gin Peds is having lots of overflow. And so usually there are no Gin Peds kids on my floor, which like depending on the area you're in the hospital, social work just looks a little different. And there have been like Gin Peds overflow onto my floor, which then makes them be like my clients. And it's just, it becomes different because it's like you do different tasks based on what families need and families need different things based on why they're in the hospital. And I don't know, Gin Peds just brings a whole different, a whole different thing going on than my usual cardiac kids. <laughs> So I've just been like a little bit busier because it's just a different workflow. There's not even been like, there's been that many. It's been like, I've had three. Well, like three yesterday, but it's just something that's different that's occurring in my day. <laughs> Back from work. Overall, good day today. It was a good workflow level, which I have been needing. The CEU that I went to around lunchtime, they did give us lunch, which was exciting, but it was the humor and healthcare ones. The kids say the darndest things. And it was sweet because I feel like a lot of times those types of like group discussions will be on the heavier side, which is still beneficial, but it was nice having one where people could just share like sweet things or funny things Things that children have said like in their time working at the hospital so I just feel like it was very I don't know it was very cute very beneficial really liked it tonight I do make dinner I also want to go for a run it is Wednesday I don't think I'm going to run club because I think I kind of want to do a solo run it's my first quote-unquote long run since starting half marathon training again quote-unquote because it's 3.1 miles which to be fair that used to be super duper long for me hopefully it won't feel all that bad today but I haven't decided if I want to make dinner and then go because like I just walked home so I'm kind of tired but also like it would be nice to be able to just like get her done while the sun's still up so that's TBD I don't know on that yet I wish someone could just like tell me what to do but yeah we'll see I'm either about to go run and then come home and make dinner or gonna make dinner and then go run but what I did do today that was really cute I made an itinerary oh and I put my address on it so I can't actually show you it I made this cute itinerary on Canva though for when my mom comes this weekend don't know where my hands at Feeling like I'm always trying to get up on the right track On the right track Feeling so lost Can you help me find the right path? Baby, if you follow, I'll catch you Diving in deep out of your ice suit This ain't nobody coming to our rescue We just gotta do what we gotta do I think I'm wearing my glasses today. O OTV! With future OTVs sitting here drawing behind me. Theoretically, you never know how the day is gonna go, but theoretically today is not gonna be a super patient focused, patient facing focused day because I have quite a few different little meetings. I have an hour and a half long of the acute care rounds. I have a half hour long of the ICU rounds today. I have an hour and a half long CEU where someone from 
a like nonprofit serving low income law legal aid agency is coming to talk to us about what they do and i think they're talking to us specifically about guardianship which is going to be interesting because i feel like i don't know the ins and outs of that too much and then i also have an hour long ceu for treatment resisted schizophrenia in young adults so that is a lot of sitting down and learning today and we'll just have to see where i fit in <laughs> actually talking to people in the hospital outside of that <laughs> It was kind of a weird day at work today for the reasons I told you this morning just in how I like was not on the floor basically at all today because I had all of my different like learning activities that I was doing and the different meetings and things and that really did just take most of my day. So I like I saw a couple families but not at all a lot and not at all things of substance. There I added a light so it would be a little bit more lit. <laughs> but then since I got home tonight I've been working on just doing like a lots of loads of laundry trying to get that all done. Vacuuming things like that. I'm not getting myself in like tip top shape for my mom coming tomorrow but I feel like whenever I have guests I'd like for the laundry to be like at least not like hanging dry actively I am having my kombucha that I got at the beginning of the week and I was saving for a night that I wanted it and tonight is that night and let's see what else while I was doing some of the like laundry work and things sorry the cars are being loud tonight while I was doing the like laundry and things I was watching some old videos of my own which I go through phases like sometimes I'm like I would literally rather watch anything else in the world than like myself <laughs> and then sometimes I'm kind of like I wonder what life was like back then. Like it's kind of like a cute little walk down memory lane thing. So I was watching videos from like March whenever I was getting my MSW and they were fun and they were cute. I do because I have not prioritized like sitting down and reading lately. I feel like I did very heavily for like a week and then I kind of just like took a little break but I got fourth wing from the library. It was my turn. My time came. So I'm going to start that tonight. I was going to start it on my lunch break today because I did take a lunch break today but I opened it up and the first thing I saw was a map just like on the cover on the inside and I was like I just don't know if I can start a book with a map in 30 minutes in the middle of a work day in the middle of a loud cafeteria. I felt like I needed to give myself more of like a sit down and focus region for starting this book but i'm excited for it i was getting friday vibes literally all day today which becomes a real bummer whenever i have to wake up tomorrow morning and still go to work but the timing of it should be to where whenever i get home from work my mom shouldn't be too far behind coming from the airport i feel bad not picking her up from the airport i feel like whenever people come visit it's like a common courtesy to go pick them up from the airport but since the airport is like basically i'd have to drive in rush hour traffic to get to the airport so by the time i could even get there after work like she could have already been, you know, at my apartment by the time. So she's going to meet us here. Right now there's rain on the radar, which is a bummer for the weekend. But I'm just hoping that it is inaccurate and we still get to do all the fun things that include a lot of outdoor things that I have planned. Kind of stressed out, don't know where my head's at. Feeling like I'm always trying to get up on the right track. my world I don't worry darling I just smile cause you're by my side and now your eyes open up every morning to the love that shines in mine and I see it in yours too so now I sing to you and when you go Leave me here all alone I'll be waiting I can't make it because I know That after all this time You'll read between these lines Feeling fine Cause you said this is all you want No more playing, playing, playing on all this Waiting, waiting, waiting I'll call you mine I know you feel the same as I do Taken, 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 baby Reminiscing on the time when we first met I was tongue-tied, stupefied What was it that I said? Probably something foolish that didn't make much sense But you remembered a year later when I saw you next When I told you Then I need to hold you 
But you said come right on over I could not wait to show you I cherish all your lines And after all this time Feeling fine Cause you said this is all you want No more playing, playing, playing on all this Waiting, waiting, waiting I call you mine I know you feel the same as I do No more playing, wishing, waiting I was taking, 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 baby You were turning me up and you were turning me on You woke me up at the break of dawn I told you, baby, I'm so far gone But I was sneaking out and I was sneaking in Back into your room again Oh, honey, please, can't you see what I see? This is the way it should be, yeah This is the way it should be Taken, taken, baby.